Hello, my name's King, and today we will be building this nice little village house. It's very simple, it probably could even be made in a few days into a survival world. It's, you know, I think it's nice. It's nice and quaint, plenty of room, and yeah. So let's get that, 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 that. Let's get started. These are the materials you're going to need. A cobblestone, cobblestone wall, stair, birch fence, or birch door, or any kind of door really. A birch stair, birch bark block. It could even be the one that does not have all the textures. Although, you will probably need it for corners such as this. But that's up to personal preference. We also have dark oak slab, dark oak planks in general, spruce plank, spruce slab, spruce fence, trapdoor, and fence gate. We are also going to need a flower pot, two stained glass of colors that are com complementary and of your preference, and a flower that is probably in the same color as those and hay bales if you feel like having that in there and just because I am playing on little taste of germ also yellow carpet and snow because in most biomes they look like hay and so you know it, it kind of would y you see how it looks over here you see how it like dips out a little bit while a regular hay block is flat. It, it's just a small detail that I prefer. As usual, the, it's up to personal preference. You don't have to follow this tutorial exactly. But that being said, let's get right into building this thing. So for the dimensions, there are five blocks this way, seven blocks this way, and then it comes out one, and so there's two, a space for the door, two, five blocks this way, one, two, three, four, five blocks, and then seven to connect it. And so it's like, it's like a, you know, uh, that's 12 blocks, but with a majority of it pushed to the side a bit, to give him more interesting angle, which I think really helps the house. And so, this way we go up five, one, two, three, four, five, same here, fill it in, and then you go in one and make three, and then one to have a frame. And then you put cobblestone wall on top to give it extra detail. On this side, it's the same thing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Fill it in. I'm leaving these three blocks without anything on it because that's where the chimney goes. And I'm doing that last. So you fill it up. Make it a frame. Put cobblestone wall. And then for the walls itself, to make it look like it has extra foundation at the bottom, this goes up four. So one, two, three, four. And do that all the way around. Leaving three blocks for the door, because we are going to go around and put a stair like that to give the door a nice inlaid look. That's real nice. I like it. That being said, we are going to come back around this way. Build it up four. If I can Minecraft correctly. And like that. So this is usually on my single player world of Gloria. Uh, there should be something in the corner, possibly if I remember, 
this is usually where we stop and put on a roof for like a smaller grade house but for these village village houses it's possibly like a more well-off village more rich this could even work in like a city and so we have a second floor which looks more like a traditional house and so in order to do that going in from the corner and with a one block space we are going to put these birch fences two block here with birch fences there just because it looks more aesthetically pleasing than if I were to say we have one like that that looks weird so we go like that to make things all nice and we do the same on the other side one two three and then one two and then we are going to go up by five one two three four five with the stripped birch it doesn't have to be the bark block but it's a safe bet to use that anyway you could use it sparingly and say all of this is like the stripped wood and this is the bark block but you know I'll leave that up to you guys so one two three four five also the cobble and the stripped bark blocks could be like interwoven with say birch wood and stone brick or stone or andesite to give it more detail but that is entirely up to you guys that is up to personal preference which you know a tutorial isn't supposed to be followed normally it's just for inspiration or whatever i said in the beginning and so we are filling all of this in like that making a box and nice and simple this house isn't too complicated and in reality it's just a giant rectangle but I like to think most houses are just a giant rectangle. The people building the house probably want to keep things as simple as possible. Although usually it's not good to have a house that is just a rectangle. So we have that split in the middle and don't make all your houses a rectangle. That just makes things boring. Go ahead and build on diagonals or have unique shapes and whatever you feel like. Now what I'm filling in here is going to be the second floor. You do not have to fill this in or you could even fill it in with whatever material you want. Just keep in mind that this is the wall so stuff like that will happen. I'm just filling it in for ease of the next bit which is filling in the walls in which you literally just do this. It's nothing in too hard. You could again do like variation of materials to give it texture but that is entirely up to front so you know there's that and next on the list is going to be setting up these walls for its own roof which again is just going to be a simple a-frame uh, let's go to the other side where it's easier to see and the chimney is not in the way. We just go up again here. And yeah, it's, it's just an A-frame. I'm going to be building it this way. While on the other one, I built it the other way. Again, it's entirely up to preference of what you feel looks better. In fact, on this one, I might even get rid of that entirely just make it straight like that so I'm gonna make that change over here too and so we build it up as an a-frame and that will help with the design of the roof getting it in place and all that in fact right now let's actually set up those windows so there's going to be one here and one there and same on the other side. Now, if you have, say, like a wall on this back side or another building next to it with an alley, might be best not to have those windows there. Otherwise, the people living here 
we'll be looking at a wall. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind. You could also, like, add a window here, for example. Or not put a window there, and also get rid of this window, and have something else. Or have a balcony. It It's entirely up to preference. Just vary it from building to building, and it should look great. Unless you're only building one building, in which case... It, it, again, just do whatever you feel looks unique and interesting. Yes, I already put a stair there. Okay, so on to the roof. Saving chimney for last. Uh, let's see, the roof is a slab. And then a block with a slab on top. And then a regular block. Or no, that's a slab with a block with a slab on top. Same on that. Okay. Okay, I figured out how the roof works. I'm very professional, by the way. So, we go out one from the edge. So there's an overhang of one. And we go with a slab like this. So top half of the slab, put another slab on top so it looks like a full block. And then we go with a block, slab on top, block, slab on top, block, slab on top, block. Is there a slab on top of that block? Yes, there is. Okay, so it's, it's a very simple A-frame roof of just blocks and slabs. Gives a very chunky look, but honestly, it's not entirely bad, to be honest. I thought it was actually going to be worse. Like that, that, that. And there's the edge of the roof. Now to check on this side to make sure I didn't mess something up. I did mess something up. There's supposed to be slabs under these for some odd reason. Right? Yeah, because that was full block and then it's... Yeah. I guess it just gives it like a, a slight curve to it, which it would otherwise not have. So, yeah, that that's my excuse. And that's why I'm sticking to. So doing the same on this side. Of just a block. And then slab, block, slab. Slab, block, slab. Block, with slab, block, slab. And then same thing on this side. Just putting slabs on the top and bottom of all except this one which is these are two are slabs, that's a regular block with a slab on top, and this starting the third one up is where there's a block with a slab on top and bottom, going all the way up to this pe peculiar A-frame. Now we line it up with this as an edge of dark oak, leaving these two blocks where it's like a full block but as half slabs. And that just gives it like a subtle curve to the roof without having too much of a curve to it that makes it look too elegant. So just doing that, same thing on this side. Now for the interior, all it is is just planks all the way down connecting both sides it's probably best to just go straight with one and stopping where the angle starts and just doing all of that with planks first it keeps things simple which is usually good it's usually smart to keep things simple no need to go too extravagant, unless you are, like, super skilled. 
or you just love the challenge, I guess. So there's that. But that looks very, like, hard-edged and boring. So what we are going to do is something like this, which is a lot more fluid and rustic and it looks confusing. But honestly, it's not too confusing. All you are going to do is every now and then just push a block out and in on either side. It can be however you feel like doing it. It's just going to be pushing a block in and out. And then coming in with slabs to add these curves to it and just wherever the blocks sort of bow out and in, you would just add a slap there. Same on this side. Making sure there are not any hard, there are no hard edges to it. Like that. Now you see those two roofs look a bit different, but you know, it, random is key when it comes to doing the, these things. And so now that we have the roof in, we are going to do the chimney. And the chimney is going to be too wide, but in order to keep things symmetrical, we go three wide at the base and say stop there and then just build it up, getting rid of these walls. That way it hugs the edge and then keep it like this until we get to the roof because we're going to have to get rid of the roof here at which point say we cut out that one and then just build it up one block above the slab or was it two this too can be buried yeah I have it go two blocks up above the slab Say with this one, we go up one, and then you go with cobblestone wall there to look like a chimney, or a, you know, like a Victorian style chimney, or semi-modern, I guess. And then on places where it changes, you could just add stairs. Down there would be a stair, and there you go, there's your chimney. Now see how those two look slightly different? but are practically the same. It just gives a uniqueness to each building, which is usually good. Now then, getting rid of that inventory. Next up, we are going to do windows and these little like trapdoor thingies and maybe, you know, just add the detail because the majority of the building is already done now. So we are going to grab the door flower pot with the flower all of this and then I guess regular hay bales to show what it looks like without the carpet and snow so for the door you just go like this and place it so it's inset and then on the top you place the fence gate open the fence gate and then place the trap door for the little flower bed but it has hay instead thing out the front here you just place the trap doors open them Ugh. I meant to do that and then you place it in like that and that looks good so we can get rid of that and that for these windows the bottom two are going to be the lighter color with the darker color on top as just a trim I'm using blue because I feel like that matches well with the, you know, the birch. I don't know why my brain works in mysterious ways. Okay, so you open up trap doors just like you did with the door, place the fence, no, you open up the fence gate, place the trap door on top, and it gives it kind of like a shutter, but at the top where it's out of the way and gives you room to play around with the other stuff. It keeps it minuscule. And so for a flower bed, say 
it, it can go under either window. I prefer to only have one because it already looks very big as it is. If you were to do say two like that, that's just huge and kind of in the way. Even doing that now looks like a smiley face. So it's best to only do one, but it can be under either window. It doesn't have to be on the corner. It can also be out here. Say you do that and then you shift click on the trap door to place it and then place whatever flower matches the window. That way everything feels consistent. And then on the one in the back, I'm just going to do it the other way to show that it doesn't necessarily matter. It can be whichever and then place that. And that's pretty much it. On the inside, you can do whatever you feel like doing for an interior. Just keep in mind the bottom floor is three wide, so it's probably best to just have a flooring and then say like a table and then a stairway up into the second floor, which is much more spacious. Well, not much more, it's just by two blocks, but you can have more interesting interiors to be done in here. But that is about it for this video. That is how you build this nice quaint little village house. Nice and quick and easy. This has been King, signing off. Goodbye.